Okay, so this will be a little more practical because we will now give you uh, installation instructions to set up Apaka on your local systems. Uh, you can try and type this off the screen while I'll read it out, but I'll also up, we have also uploaded the presentations to the Indico page. So if you don't, uh, if you're not fast enough with your typing, uh, you can still view it afterwards or in parallel. So, how do we download Apaka? Apaka's workflow or download approach is entirely Git-based. So, the first thing you need to download Apaka is actually to install Git for your operating system. If, you're not, if you don't already have Git installed, these are the instructions to uh, get it to for your local system. On Linux, you would run the sudo dnf install git if you're on a Red Hat-based distribution, or sudo apt install git if you're on a Debian-based distribution. On macOS, you would uh, just enter git version in the terminal, and macOS will ask you if you want to install git, if you don't have it already. And on Windows, you need to download the installer and run it. Afterwards, once you have set up git for your system, you will need to open the terminal or the PowerShell on Windows and navigate to a directory of your choice. And then you can download Alpaca with the git clone command. Uh, for the purpose of this, online workshop, we will stay on the stable release branch, which we just released last week. So uh, with this command, you will uh, get the latest stable release from Alpaca. Alpaca itself only requires boost in its core and the modern C++ compiler. So uh, almost anything works. You can use the GCC compiler collection, you can use Clang, you can use Visual Studio, you can use Xcode. However, uh, Boost needs to be installed. So again, if you're on Linux, just use your packet manager for installing the necessary Boost packages. On macOS, you can use either Homebrew or Mac ports, depending on what you prefer. And on Windows, we recommend to use the VC package tool. If you don't know it already, VC package is a more or less C++ package manager from Microsoft. Uh, if you don't have it, you can download it on GitHub, it's open source. And uh, once you have it installed, you can uh, just type in the VC package uh, install command on the PowerShell and it uh, should install Boost in a usable version. Depending on your target accelerator platform, you may need additional packages. So if you know you want to run on NVIDIA GPUs, you will uh, probably want to download the CUDA toolkit. And if you want to run on AMD GPUs, you will want to download the ROCK um, or the HIP toolkit. You can find the installation instructions behind the links here. Uh, so we prefer CMAC for building and installing Alpaca. If you don't have CMAC already, just uh, install it in the usual way on Linux. And there's also an installer available for Mac OS and Windows. And uh, once you have installed CMake, you can switch to the uh, downloaded Alpaca repository, create a build directory inside and switch to the build directory. And uh, afterwards, you can just uh, prepare Alpaca for installation. Since Alpaca is header only, there is no building of anything involved. So all you need to do is run the CMake command and decide on uh, the path you want to install Alpaca to. However, you can also even leave out this directory if you are content with the default install prefix. Be advised, this requires administrator privileges on all systems, as this will result in a system-wide installation of Alpaca. On Linux and Mac OS, this will by default install Alpaca into the user local directories, and on Windows, the, it will install by default to the C program files directory. If you don't want that, supply the CMake install prefix to uh, choose a different directory. If configuration has worked, you can just run the CMake install command. Note the dot here, that's important. And if everything worked out so far, you should now have a complete Alpaca installation in the directory you just chose. If you encounter any problems or errors this far, please check the documentation. Maybe we already covered your specific problem. 
And if you, if you couldn't solve your problem, uh, even after reading the documentation, please, please open an issue so we can maybe fix uh, an error or help you out. Okay, that's it for the installation part. Are there any questions regarding this? Uh, if, you, if you try to do this in parallel and run to, run to programs, we will also be available for like half an hour after the talk's finished to help you through the installation and testing process. <laughs>